Hey Taylor, I delayed this video because I wanted to do a video on Halloween and it's currently dead thanks to the snow outside, so it's a perfect time. Uh, so I wanted to do a uh, like a little in-depth thing on the history of Halloween and um, I like little little tidbits, little fun facts, you know? Uh, this is my little research I did. So Halloween comes from Hall All Hallows Eve, which is a uh, holiday from the Celtic Festi Harvest Festival called Samhain, which was obviously brought over by the Irish immigrants in the mid-1800s, and basically was uh, to celebrate the Harvest Festival and to celebrate the um, close ties with the dead, because that day was specifically like a day that was easily more connected to the dead. And so, um, next we're going to go to trick-or-treats, so I'm just going to read this. So. From a limited works research, um, people were said to dress up as saints and sing songs from door to door and ask for souls cake, similar to biscuits. Contrary, uh, others say that poor people went to houses of the wealthier and exchanged the uh, biscuits, the soul cakes, for promises of praying for the wealthier's dead um, and, yeah, praying for the wealthier's dead. And that was known as souling. Um, so by the 1800s, the playing of tricks on Halloween had become a tradition because, I mean, that was what they did on uh, All Hell's Eve before. And so um, around the 20s and 30s, the tricks were so bad that parents and town leaders encouraged dressing up and trick-or-treating instead of having pranks. So, just got a little too rambunctious. It was also around the time that they incorporated more activities like bobbing for apples because apples had always been associated with the holiday. And a legend from that was that the first person who would got who got an apple without having to touch it with their hands would be the first one to get married in that year. Oop, I see one. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, I'm back. Finally, uh, that extra like little spice that Americans always have to add with the the devil. Um, around the eighteen when they were on the eighties and nineties, the um and evangelical Christians got like all in a hezzy because People were worshiping Satan and paganism rituals were being committed during Halloween. But, um, uh, Celtics, ancient Celtics never celebrated or worshipped uh, a deity that would be close to the Christian devil, so. Paganism is also a word that Catholics created, so. Basically, they were just trying to make Halloween less gory and uh, scary and force more, like, corporate ideas of, um, People dressing up as like costumes and less scary things. It must have been like the uh, the rock and roll age, like because you know have you seen the Vox earworm video where um they talk about how uh, rock and roll was attacked by I think it was rock and roll was attacked by like Christians who like oh it's paganism it's like ritual satanic stuff and not really so uh, I hope you had a great Halloween. Uh, we sure did. Nobody came, so we got tons of candy and stuff. And I uh, hope you have a great week. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.